a leader myself, it was Greenhouse that changed my life, no question, you know, whether it's at work or guiding um, the different culture transformation projects we have, you know, the skills you learn and the skills we're giving our workforce are, there's no amount of money that could pay for that. So I think doing nothing and assuming we'll just, you know, go back to the way we were pre-pandemic, I don't think the consumer is going to support it, the workforce isn't going to support it, and, and we, we certainly know that the regulatory environment isn't going to either at the state and the federal level. We're here because this is what moves us, this is what drives us, this is what motivates us. And if that's the case, then how could you not want to be engaged in something that provides meaningful life. In our small houses, we always had staff, whether it meant staff were working two shifts, working six days a week. And it wasn't that the nursing director asked them to work or the administrator asked them to work. They asked each other to work because they wanted to be there for their elders. The people say, well, you know, it's hard to build you know, a greenhouse and, and it's hard to, to run that and this and that. It, it, what pops into my mind is the whole saying of pick your hard. <laughs> because, you know, it, it's, it's also hard to be dealing with um, difficult, you know, very low occupancy, um, dated physical plants, a place that people don't want to go to or work in. So it's, it's, you know, there is that commitment to do it and to do it right. I, I could never go back and work in a traditional nursing environment. I just couldn't do it because I don't think it's the right thing to do when I know what we're doing with the greenhouse is the right thing to do.